Big bolt from the film, the Disney film. But always look out for this particular one, the big one, as it's very rare and it is sold for £109.99. So that's the sale of the week. So keep an eye out for this bolo. Hiya, I've got a quick call for you today. Tam and I were at the charity shop yesterday, so I'll turn you around and let you see what we got. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Firstly, I spotted this Quicksilver vintage hoodie and I just thought it was so cool and I pointed out to Tam and I said, that's a bit of Ricky Lee, I think. But Tam actually says it's a bit of him, so he's keeping that one. It's not getting sold. And how much was that? £6. Six pound, that one, but it's really thick and fluffy. And I love all the colours on it. So cool. So that's the first item. The next item is this blazer jacket. It was two ninety nine, And it is a Harry Brown heritage. And... It's got a beautiful lining on it, as you can see, paisley pattern. So nice. It's obviously, we'll need to get the debobbler on it. And yep, yeah, £2.99 for that bargain. Love it. Beautiful. Next item, I spotted this one, and it is a Dennis Basso, would you say? Basso, Dennis Basso, I think. And it's a large, fluffy jacket. It's a nice metallic silver, I would say maybe crocodile print or snake skin, but it's, it's full, it's just all smooth, it's just a design on the fabric. It's all nice and cosy, and I really like that one, and I paid four ninety nine for that. Next item that I spotted was this vintage Bart Simpson and I thought it was actually a blanket but it turns out it's a sleeping bag I thought it was so cool so let's see I don't know what it is with light and dark things it makes it look dirty it's no dirty it's just like bits of fluff on it but we'll we'll use the lint roller on it and the deep bobbler but I thought that was really cool and I think this was one ninety nine. It didn't have a tag, but when Tam went to the till, I'm sure she said it was one ninety nine for that. Tam spotted this book and he paid three pounds out of the PDSA. And this is a bolo. You'll see on the screen how much it goes for, and it's new and sealed. Next item we got out of the PDSA. That's this was the one that was three pound fifty, yeah. and it's Red Dwarf. And it's new and sealed as well. And he'll put on the screen how much that goes for two. He spotted these vintage Brio train, wooden train sets. And you paid £6 for this one. And I think it's sealed up, is it? Yeah. Yeah. So £6 for that one. And Tam will put on the screen how much it's going to go for. And then he got this vintage Sabuto. Is that how you... It's a beauty -o. It's a beauty -o. you could tell I'm into football eh? <laughs> <laughs> And he paid £4 for that. Is that there? Yeah. There we go. How cool is that? <laughs> really smart. So Tam will also put on screen how much that's going to go for. And he got this one as well, which I think that one's probably yeah. 80s and that one's maybe 70s, would you say? Oh, I don't know. That We're going to look into that. That one's missing some bits. Yeah, this one's missing quite it's a few the, things. The pitch is missing on that, and the, some of the players have been melted. <laughs> if you open the box. If you open the box, open. right. Uh, and see across there. <laughs> Mel melted players. Terrifying, yeah. That's been one angry child at some point. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes you can get money for the spares, or I'll, yeah. I'll bundle them together. Some people might want the box as well for nostalgia. Yeah. And you got more of these Brio trains, £3 for this one with a tunnel. Oh, 
I'm just looking at my nails, they're shocking. <laughs> Sorry about that. Should have painted them. And then another one. I think that's a bridge this time. And that was £3 as well. So it's quite unusual to get those brios and boxes, isn't it? Yeah. So that was cool. And then out of Nourish, we got this wee cute doll thing. Power Puff Girls. Power Puff Girls. And uh, it's got a cute wee baffies on its feet. So they were uh, 50 pence. And we got this one for 50 pence as well. And that's a... Uh, <laughs> Superman dog, I think it's Crypto. Crypto. Yeah. yeah, this is Crypto. Oh, he's cute. Look at his wee face. <laughs> and then he bought this Kung Fu. Nope, it's no Kung Fu Panda. It's Combo Panda from Ryan's World. And it's a jet plane. That was £3. And we're just going to have a look in our figures um, backlog and see if we've got any Combo Pandas or Ryan's World figures to go in with that. Then he spotted these trousers. They were ping ones, and he tells me these are golf. Well, they aren't golf, they're for golf. Yeah. They're golf. <laughs> and they're uh, $2.99. These are golf, ping golf. golf. <laughs> so those were 2 99 and then he spotted these rab trousers. Rab trousers are so funny. I just, every time I see that, I think of Rab seen us. But and these were three ninety nine. Yeah. So that's our haul. I think we've got quite a good few items there. Eh? Yep. So we're happy with that little haul. So we've got North Face. Two ninety nine. This could do all right. Check the inside bags. Yeah, always check. See it there? It usually means it's real. But yeah, two and nine, North Face. Let's get in there. And there's this. Look at this. Beautiful. <laughs> well, that's caught my eye. Look at all that detail. And it's five and nine. And it's this brand here. Made in USA. But it's quite big. So I think I'm gonna get this. It's really heavy as well. well I've got another couple of things that I didn't show you. Got these. This is a good brand to look out for. It's toast. A nice pair of trousers. Well jeans. And they were $2.99. And I also got this vintage game called Flutter. And I got that for 99p. And I'll put up how much this goes for on the screen.